everyone welcome back to sticks and stones i'm kevin and today i have to carve this cane for a friend of mine oops i just knocked something over for christmas uh it's gonna be a christmas gift for him and i have to put he loves my wood spirits so i'm gonna have to put some wood spirits on it for him and i'm thinking right in here is going to be the first one because when you hold the cane that's the what would be facing out the most so we're going to try and carve this out and get a couple of wood spirits on here. Maybe even go down the stick and do, well, we'll do, do what we can. Okay, but I'm going to start on this side here and I'm going to do a wood spirit. So, sit back and enjoy the ride. So I start off by getting the Kutzel Extreme Flame Burr out and, uh, test the wood here and I start shaping my hairline for the face and I realize right away wow is this thick hard this has got to be solid maple and I could tell already this sucker is going to burn all the way through even with the Kutzel Extreme Flame Burr here it's uh I have it sped up and it looks like it's going easy but trust me I'm having to push pretty good and this wood is going to give me a run for my money my hand's getting tired already just pushing on it. So I'm shaping the face on the wood spirit here and trying to dig it out some and clear the wood off as I go because it looked like somebody had already polyurethane this cane or whatever it is, walking stick type thing. It doesn't really have a handle on it for a cane. It's just got the top of the stick, but it's short. But man, the sucker's got to be two and a half inches thick at least. Uh, and it's rock hard. It's a good solid maple, that's for sure. But it's probably going to burn when I do a lot of detailing on it. So it's going to be a lot of sanding and everything else. So here I'm trying to shape the mustache a little bit. I think I'm just going to end up doing the one face on this. Which is okay, you know. It's a, I'll just make it a nice big face and I'll follow this uh, little twist that it has. And we'll see if I can get a decent face on it. Still working with the Kutzel Extreme Flame Burr here. And I'll try and cut the mustache in. See where we're going here. I'll just run it right off that one little edge there. And then I'll follow the rest with the beard. Beard hair all the way down. I'm not going to wrap it all the way around the stick. Because this stick, like I said, is giving me a hard time trying to get through it. And you'll see uh, how it starts burning when I start switching up the other bits. I can guarantee that's going to happen. I can feel it already. Okay, I've got a mustache going in, starting to cut the sides of the face in a little bit, still shaping the nose. At least it's nice, clean white wood. Okay, I'm switching to the the Kutzel Extre Extreme uh, Tapered Burr here, because I definitely need to dig a little bit more and get some of that wood out. This burr will handle it, that's for sure, but this wood is going to be uh, something else. It's probably going to be half a day or here. I'll just play with it a little at a time, take it down and see if I can get a decent face on it. Uh, if I wasn't having to work it so much, I could probably even get a better face on it, but I think we can come up with a decent face. The point on this burr helps me get in a little bit to where I need to. And it's uh, pretty aggressive, so it is getting through the wood okay. But again, not without some work. I mean, this is a pretty thick piece for a cane. And I'm going to see if I can get a lot of detail on this thing for my buddy. And we'll see if we can get a half-decent wood spare face on it. This bit's great for getting in the nostrils and stuff and underneath the eyelids here. Give them kind of a thick brow to make them interesting. Now I'm going to my electric pencil. I'm going to try and shape a little bit of an eye mound in there. Still smoothing up and trying to get the nose shaped a little bit more. Get some kind of eye mound in there that I can form some kind of eyes later. You want to get in the corners pretty good and round off a piece of wood that you can form into an eye mound anyway. I'm going to take this size of the mustache down and round it off a little bit while this bit's in my hand. 
I also like to put the eye bags and wrinkles in a lot with this bit. Seen me do these in other videos. It's not the only bit I use for this, is, but when I have it in my hand, I tend to go for the wrinkles with it. It just is a good starter bit for them anyway. And I work around them, smoothing some wood out underneath each wrinkle so they stand out a little. And here we go with the cuts of ball. I'm going to try and smooth things over a little bit. If I press a little bit hard, this ball will start burning. I mean, this wood, like I said, again, it's solid maple. So I'm sure uh, as I go, you're going to start seeing some burn marks on this piece. And it's going to take me a while to clean them off, but there's a lot to be said for burning, too. When you get some bits that burn, you know, sometimes that helps the detail. Other times, not so much. It could be more of a pain in the butt. And I think we'll be all right, no matter how much it burns. We'll clean it up somehow. Just trying to take the sharp edges off and blend things in. It gives a smoother transition in between the wrinkles and into the cheeks and stuff. And I always go over a hard carving when I'm doing a hardwood like this uh, with the ball and smooth things down a little bit, see where I am, blend things together. Okay, got the bags in and stuff. Starting to shape up. See what we can do with the beard down here. And uh, what I'm going to try and do is separate the mustache here too. And I'm going to put some gullies on either side of them. And then I'll bring the, the cutter back to the center. And I'll deepen these later with another bit when I find one that cuts a little bit better. But this right here is good because it'll start breaking up the mustache and giving it a little bit of contrast. And I'll try to get some of the burn off as I go. It's very subtle for now, and doing some in the beard here too. See that bit burning? Well, that's okay, I'll use it while I got it in my hand and see what I can get done with it. Don't mind the burn marks, I knew that was going to happen. That's what happens with hardwoods. And uh, if you get some of these bits and they don't burn as good, I noticed Jordy was trying to use the little one, uh, Jordy Johnson from Carbon Fusion. I was trying to use the little comb bit that I used to, to burn his wood. Like, you see how this bit right here is burning? Well, that's an easy fix, Jordy. Carve some hardwood. It'll burn fine. Cottonwood bark, it works great for detailing, but you're not going to get so much of a burn on it unless you really have a hard, hard piece of cottonwood bark. Uh, this right here is an old dental bit I got years ago. And it doesn't even, it's not really even pointed, but it's going to burn like crazy when I use it. See that? And this is really, really old. And I couldn't even tell you where to get them, guys. Sorry. But uh, I've just got all kinds of old bits in my box. Some of them are even rusty. And if I want to get a burning effect, I'll use one of my duller, older bits that's pretty thin when I'm doing hardwood like this. And I'll get the burning effect. But uh, if you're using that little comb bit right now, it would probably burn the same. Because this wood is so hard. Like I said, this is a real solid piece of maple. Very thick. Uh, this is more of a blunt burr. It's not really cone shaped and it's not really cylinder shaped. It's kind of rounded at the top. Pretty dull and old. But you can see how it burns at high speed and pressing into this hard wood. So sometimes an older tool will give you an effect that you're looking for even though it's not the best tool for cutting it's still giving me a little bit of wood removal as I'm burning and sinking into the wood here okay and then I try to even clean it up because I don't like all that burn so and that's just by using a lighter touch and letting it actually file some of that stuff off okay but it did its purpose and then now it'll be a matter of getting that burn off if we want to clean them up so like I said, if I just go over it lightly and without all the hard pressing, not so heavy handed on it, you know, it'll actually clean it some. I'm going to shape the mouth a little bit more with them. Okay, now it's cleaned up pretty good. I sanded them a little. And what I'm doing here is this is a very tiny rotary ball. 
from Dremel. It's just one of the smaller fluted cutters. And I'm just giving them some extra little hairs, little fine hairs I'm using uh, this ball for and cleaning up in spots. Just a very tiny bit that I can get in spaces that uh, I can't with other bits that are bigger. And you'll see the little tiny hairs in the details that I'm putting on with it. Okay, now I'm going to try and take the sanding drum. And I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more detail on the sides here and get a smoother transaction uh, transition from the, the hair to the outside of the stick. I don't want it all scratched up, obviously, so taking that sanding drum and making some more hairs with it. And again, it's going to burn a little bit. The, the sanding drum will really burn, but uh, I can get some pretty decent hair effect by running this around in places that I just have scratches with the little bit. Okay, like right here, you'll see it. Get a little bit more detail on there, and I'll try and start some hair at the top here. See that thing burning? But that's alright, it'll serve its purpose, and I'll get some hair in, and then I'll go over it with another bit. And we'll clean them up. But for now, I'm trying to get the hair pattern that I want. And take it a little bit more wood out between the eyebrows with it as I go. And I'll go around the stick with it. And if it burns, that's okay. I'll just clean it up a little bit with another bit. So this will help getting that hair in. And, uh... Give me the design I want anyway. Sorry it's out of the camera right now, but it'll be coming back in soon. I'm just doing the same thing all around the carving. Okay, that's it for the sanding drum. Now I got a real aggressive bit. Uh, this right here is just a big steel carbide burr. I think I got it at Harbor Freight. Uh, I don't know. But uh, it's real aggressive, and it's going to work really good on the hardwood. It's quarter-inch shank. I got it in the Fordham. And I'm going to go around and detail this up more, and I'll clean that hair up. And this will help me dig a little bit more ridges and gullies in that mustache and around. And uh, I should be able to cut into this stick pretty good with it. Yeah, it's working pretty good. So I'll be able to get the rest of the detail in probably with this bit. And it'll help me take some of that burn off as I make these cuts a little bit deeper. Give the appearance of hair all around. And then what I'll do is I'll... Uh, I'll put a finish on the stick, and I'll put a clear coat on it, and it'll basically blend the rest of this uh, face right into the same color of the, the wood, because I'm pretty sure it was just a clear coat they put on this stick. So if I put a clear coat on it, I think it'll blend all this right in, and it'll be the same color of the stick before I started carving, and uh, it should work out okay. So I'm just extending these lines a little bit more now. Sorry it's out of the camera, but i got to hold it pretty sturdy, because this is a pretty aggressive bit. He's coming out okay. Let's clean him up. I'll give him some eyebrow lines. There we go. i got to clean him up with a little bit of sandpaper and try and get some of this burn off. bad Let's see what we got here that's one long stick he's bigger than he looks in real life pretty thick Let's sand him up a little we'll get some of this burn off and see what we ended up with Okay, here's the stick finished. And this right here is... It's got a coat. I just put a quick coat of Helmsman's on him so he blends in with the stick that uh, the color he's already got. And that'll be my buddy Warren's Christmas present. He gave me this cane a long time ago to carve. And... I finally got to it 
Whoops. So that right there is gonna be his Christmas present. I didn't go too nuts. I could have went really crazy with the hair, but the way this stick goes, and uh, as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of twists in it. But for now, that's what he's getting. Because that's going to seem to be all the time I have to do on this project for now. So I'll wipe him down a little bit more and get some of the puddles out while he's drying. And uh, that'll be good for Warren. Merry Christmas, bud, if you're watching. I'll see you in a bit when I deliver it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.